All right, what's up, y'all? It's like a fan here. As you can see by time today's video, we're here to talk about how patch 10 may have impacted your play style, how you can adjust whether you're an outside big, inside big, outside guard, inside guard, whatever it may be. We're here to talk about the new meta, what that may become on 2v2, 3v3, maybe even pro -Am if we got enough time in the video. But anyway, we'll talk about all this stuff in a sec. I'm this also is a gameplay for anybody who clicked on this just you know looking for advice or anything like that so just understand if you want to see how to properly run like an inside big with an outside guard this is kind of like an example and they also have iso on the other side so it's a good little duel of iso versus pick and roll so to brief you guys real quick on what i'm looking forward to with this update and i really do enjoy this i think it's really separating the the skilled and the the good like you know iq and mentality uh, from those who were kind of just using the behind the back as a crutch. But anyway, Kitchen's Build. I call CB Chillin' Kitchen for those who are new. Kitchen's Build is a three-point playmaker with lock takeover. He's 6'5 with max wingspan, and it's a like the it's the green and yellow pie chart, the play sharp. So the crazy thing about this build, and then I have a finisher um, at 6'9, so that's the finishing and defense pie chart with max wingspan as well, essentially. So anyway, the crazy thing about this build is it fits lineups like this, which I think is going to become the new meta so well. So Kitchen's ability to be 6'5 and like have way better into your defense and rebounding is going to allow us to play people like this so much better. Now, the thing that it like leans to in our favor in this situation is I can guard the ball handler because he's a two-way slash play, you know, looking to drive a lot more, even though I still gave it up a, a whole bunch in this game. But you'll, you'll see what I'm talking about in this video. So I have like 92 interior defense with like 95, 94, 95 block, 21 defensive badges. Obviously, this this is very good, like situated for me to guard this guy if all he's looking to do is drive primarily. And then, like I said, if they have like a tall rim sharp, so to say, or something like that, Kitchen can easily guard him and rebound with him at 6'5 with good rebounding ratings and 11 defensive badges for a play sharp who can still run pick and roll offense as a as an outside point guard. This is like one of the best builds you could possibly have. Now, don't get me wrong. All he has upgraded on finishing is driving dunk, but you're going to see for the most part that actually still works. There was one bad play early on that you're going to see, but anyway, he catches Kitchen lacking right there, but he misses the shot. Now we get the ball back. Now, like I said, what you're going to see a lot of from us is this out, like outside, inside, you know, pick and roll offense where, and you, yo, that move right there is going to become one that's really good to use in my opinion. But you see, we're living off the lobs. Pick and roll offense if the big doesn't step up high enough. It's, it's what we always been been doing anyway, all right? So I'm not too worried about this in the first place. Now, what I will say, I'm here for all you inside bigs, all right? I understand this is going to hit us harder than anybody, honestly. Now, the thing about it is if you're able to take the ball as like a ball handler, like I was later in this game or later in the, the second game we play against these guys, if you can like take the ball as a ball handler and truly just like slash and dunk, this update is going to be beautiful for you. Now, if you're a seven foot rim sharp or like a seven foot, uh, <laughs> listen, the people I be hating on. All right. I understand. And I, listen, I'm not here to like hate on y'all. Honestly, right there, Kitchen probably should have thrown the lob too and they get the ball back. But anyway, let me stay on topic with that. So I'm not here to hate on y'all that I always be talking about at this point. <laughs> listen, us big men, we got to stick together because the bigs are starting to like maybe be on the brink of going extinct. So I'm here for y'all. I'm here to give my advice and opinions, no matter what your build may be. So Let's start with the 7-3 pure rims, all right? Now, listen, I do think y'all should really look into, like, a different build if that's the case because what this update's going to become is you're going to be put in this situation that I am or your guard is. Now, a lot of the times, if you're a 7-3 pure rim, right, you're probably going to be running with, like, a very midget point guard. Now, that used to be, like, very acceptable. I think it was okay to run just that the fact that these point guards could, could get themselves open. It was so easy for them to do that. Now, you're going to see <laughs> this is a little bit of a problem. So... You would either be put in my situation on defense where you have to guard like the two-way slash play that I'm guarding right now, or assuming you're playing with like a really midget point guard, he's going to have to deal with that too. And that's going to be even worse. He's just going to get dominated in the paint and you're going to be sitting there in the corner like, yo, I can't do anything, bro. <laughs> like, or you're just going to have to make that dude in the corner just shoot all game, which is probably not going to be a good idea. But anyway, this turnover right here, bro, you're going to see in two times in this game, we had a crazy BS turnover. Now... Honestly, right there, it was a clean poke, but I feel like we still could have got the ball back off that. But regardless, anyway, let me stick to the topic here. Same with the rim sharps. You guys bring a lot to the table on offense with the spacing. But the fact of the matter is, I feel like the, the rim sharps are just going to get out outplayed by, say, like a, a six foot eight play defender at the two. I think that's going to become new meta. Absolutely. These dudes are going to be like a different breed with the ISO, too. I've already seen it firsthand. And I think a lot of them were just waiting on an opportunity like this. 
you know, this this the six eight play defender. It was more of like a role player that could like you know shoot in the corner and like play good defense, and then maybe take the ball when they wanted to. But the thing about it now is that is truly becoming like the new meta. Now the reason I feel like that's the case is because when you can ISO with two locks on your team, I think that's the most efficient offense to make up for the fact that you have two locks on defense. So. If you guys get what I'm saying here, oh yeah, and I wanted to break this down, but if you get what I'm saying here, two locks is already crazy, but the fact of the matter is, now that ISO is a little bit better than pick and, pick and pop or pick and roll, I think this is gonna become a problem. Now, real quick, I wanna explain how to guard this ISO stuff, especially if you're a big man, all right? Now, I don't know why I never thought about this in the first place. Whenever I'm ISOing, it, it irritates me so bad when people do this to me. What I should have been doing is taking away his left side, all right? I should have been forcing him right so that he can net the thing about that i want to really break this down for you guys and help you understand how to guard iso against a slasher because this is all i ever did on twos for a, a good little period if you take away his left side he can't go for a contact dunk or like just a driving dunk in general on the right like if he has to drive right he has to go for a hop and you can play that very easily i want to explain what i allowed him to do here so you're gonna see i allowed him to get to my left side if i could get this pause frame properly i allowed him to get to my to my left side and right here He's he's all good. This is this is free game for him right here. He can get an easy driving dunk. He could hop if he wanted to and pass out to the corner if Kitch helped too much. If I force him right, he has to hop no matter what. I already know you cannot go up with a driving dunk or else you're gonna risk a lot. For whatever reason, when two people are around you while doing a driving dunk, it's just a horrible outcome no matter what. Even if the dude's not really that close, you just can't get contact dunks all that well. It's just really how that goes, and I know that firsthand. All right, so I want to explain that. Now, right there, they do a nice little play where I don't know if they did it intentionally, but it's a very good thing to do when you have people that are trying to force switches on twos where you see he takes advantage of Kitsch being out, out of position and myself being out of position too. Right there, they're, they're still trying to work it, and it's actually really tough really tough to deal with. But anyway, you see this dude sizing up for a three-pointer. I already know he's going for it. At this point, I should have been a little closer, but you see Intim Intimidator still flashes. Listen, that's going to be the thing. Lockdowns are going to be so so meta in this game now and it's honestly if you want to know my true opinion <laughs> if it already wasn't 2k19.0 or like point point five, whatever you want to call it if it wasn't the second coming of 2k19 already it definitely is now now listen i like this game i like the functions in it i like everything about it and i think this update is going to be a beautiful thing it's going to allow iq and just like skill to really shine finally if we played a game like this pre-update and pre-patch I would have felt like, yo, this was just too ugly of a game. It just was like some BS. It's not worth recording. But the fact of the matter is now, I love it, bro. I just really love it. Now, like I said, the thing is, I don't think you're going to be able to get away with having like a truly horrible defensive point guard or a gigantic big anymore. But like I said, I'm here to, uh, I'm, <laughs> it's kind of crazy. I'm still here to like help y'all out. All right. The, the seven foot rim sharps or like the, the seven foot pure rim, stuff like that. Cause at the end of the day, they, they do still fall into my category of audience as well. And I'm here to just help you guys out too. But like I said, if you are a finisher right now, I feel like you're loving this as a big man. What twos is going to rely on a lot is like the, the mid range game from your point guards. It's going to be a whole lot of like slip action and just beating it's going to be a lot of two locks, don't be wrong. But this is where a build like mine can really shine on defense too. I'm, I'm so happy that this became a thing because what my build wasn't great for was guarding outside point guards. It was a little tough to keep up with those dudes as far as like the, the lateral quickness goes and just the fact that they could like really ISO me pretty well. Now, the thing about this now is I got a, a great interior defending build that's going to be able to defend interior like trying to score guards. And the thing, and I had a horrible contact dunk that, I, or maybe not, no, nah, never mind. That was the next game. So, right here, you see, I get the takeover on. So I'm just going for the ISOs, straight up from this point on. And I think that's one thing again that my build is really gonna shine with. It's like this can. I don't think you can have a true role player anymore. And that's what I kind of love about it. You gotta, you gotta have really good team chemistry on twos, or you gotta have a lot of people that can contribute on three v three. Listen. I only lost one 3v3 game so far, and honestly, dude's probably going to post it. It was another YouTuber, but they ran two playmaking defenders at the one and the two, or no, at the two and the three, and then a two-way sharp point guard at the one, and what they did was we had a great offensive player at the one, and then we had two lockdowns at the two and the three, but the fact of the matter is they just ISOed our one bad defender, and it was easy as that. No matter where he went, they just constantly took it at him. It, dra it drained his stamina horrible too so when we got on offense he just <laughs> he was lacking so bad it's just listen 
3v3 is going to be a very interesting thing. Do I know what the meta is going to be? No, not at all. Now, this right here, bro, I wonder if this was in the patch or something. They must have seen my little triple threat spamming videos. Because <laughs> this is the thing. I've never been. Zero times have I ever been poked on this triple threat stuff. And this dude just clean, clean poked me the first time I tried to do it. So, I don't know if that's a new thing or if I just got, like, literally a, z a one in, like, 1000 time that i've done this chance that like i just randomly get poked but yeah i mean i was <laughs> i was pretty hurt about that right there i'm not gonna lie that I, that's never happened to me ever and i spam that triple threat quite a bit now you see right here they they catch kitchen helping again and he hits the corner three honestly bad defense by me i was playing the lanes too hard but anyway to kind of uh stay on topic of this video like i said outside guards it's gonna be very interesting i think they'll still be like you know a very good meta in 3v3 as well as like the rim sharps you see beautiful chase down block right there though but um as far as the outside guards and outside bigs i think it's still gonna be a very good thing in the 3v3 but what i'm telling y'all is when you run into that triple play defender it, bro that's gonna be that playmaking defender the two-way slash play is going to be the new best build in 2k i can promise y'all that it's like look at this i mean kitch it kitch has lock takeover and it's still not gonna be a good matchup now I, don't be wrong i was out here getting toasted by this dude a little bit but Honestly, like what my dude brings to the table for defending him is pretty good. Like, and at, at this point in the game, I was kind of worried we were going to lose this at this, like, because I just, I don't know. I didn't know whether to like believe in Kitchen's defense or not. But the thing is, we got this chemistry down. Now look at these rotations that this dude was doing. Look at this beautiful defense by Kitch. Now look at me, hop out to the corner. Now Kitch picks up on the drive. Bro, beautiful chemistry on the D. And I, I just think that was something great to see. So anyway, then you see, boom, we hit this beautiful pick and roll. Big is hesitant to step up because at the end of the day, they have a small guard who's not really as willing to switch on to me. When you can run proper pick and roll nowadays in 2K, the ISO, or not the ISO, the IQ is going to show, all right? This is what I love about it. I, I think me and Kitch are going to eat off of this stuff. So anyway, we end the game 10 of 11. I'll, I'll get the final box score real quick, and then I'll show you the second game. I know it's going to be a little bit longer of a video, but we, we end up 10 of 11 with no turnovers, quote unquote, but we still had two stupid jump ball forces um but anyway 10 3 and 2 one block uh they had five fouls as well so anyway we're gonna cut to gameplay number two now so they come around we get the we get the next game this one was a lot quicker i promise y'all it's only a five minute one so this isn't gonna be like a this isn't gonna be like a 20 21 minute long video all right but anyway like i said just be very willing to adapt all right this is what like I, this is the thing that i love about 2k when they force people to think and like you know kind of adjust now this is the thing i got i got beat pretty bad that time that i'm talking about too with that three play defenders i mean this is the thing it, it was hard for my point guard to breathe all right when they had like three locks everywhere on the court and inside big on the threes it, it was pretty tough i'm not gonna lie now I'm looking forward to playing those play sharp and like, you know, rim sharp uh, lineups on the threes. I think that's going to be pretty easy to beat now, at least in my opinion, um, because I'm going to be able to switch. We can just switch whatever at this point, and I can just keep up with those play sharps pretty well. But the thing is that I'm talking about, and you see Kitch pulls the nice three right there and misses. I get the O board though. Um, and he misses the next shot as well, and I still get it as well. But you see right there, they one thing that you're going to run into a lot is the mobility on defense. Now, what we like to do in this situation is run this rescreen slip where I fake the screen and cut right away. But look at this. Look at this beautiful defense they played. Boom. He just drops back. They get the easy switch back now that uh, Kitchen wasn't in scoring position either. And then he wasn't able to get the three off there as well. But this is what i'm saying to y'all it's gonna be a lot of iq and like and i'm loving this and i think if y'all stick with me on this stuff I, I will lead you in the right direction i promise you there's gonna be a lot of the pick and roll stuff that i'm willing to help that i'm willing to help with and just kind of lead everybody in the right direction as far as the inside bigs i'm here for everybody <laughs> i promise y'all even the seven three bigs but like i said it's gonna be very tough for y'all but it's gonna be so tough now you see right there like i said you're playing two locks you got to keep that in mind like you're playing two lockdown defenders the best thing you can do with this is just have a smart offense and a very efficient offense too, if I if I must say. But anyway, you see this dude's harassing Kitch now. I'm I'm able to like get up here and like you know get a nice uh, screen set. But yo, the thing is too, like look at this dude's mobility on the backside. Now right there, I get the nice lob take. 
Things like this are going to be tough to get right there with the mobility that they have on the backside, but it's still a good shot. It, honestly, I could have finished that with a dunk. I think maybe the, the traffic that he was in, and look at this, I mean, he's up super tight. I'm a whole finisher and dudes be full court pressing me to like not let us get the ball in. I don't know why. I think people <laughs> kind of overestimate their, their speed and mobility. And you see, I, I even just hit him with that right away because I knew he was gonna be already moving his stick down to like try to harass me. Look at this, I mean, Bro, these dudes are all over here with the fouls. This dude's guarding too tight again. I just cut. I mean, and this is what I'm talking to y'all about. Like, having this finisher is not going to be the end of the world. It's just, listen, you cannot rely on your point guard to drop 21 anymore, bro. That's just how it's going to work. And now with this slash takeover, look at this. I mean, there's not many bigs that are going to be able to do this right here. Like, <laughs> like straight up. Now, they, there's a lot that can do that right there. Just be tweaking like that. But listen, I, I made up for my mistake right here. I was able to get a nice contact dunk off after this one as well. But... Anyway, like I said, I hope you all are really interested in seeing some of this because I'm really excited. This is a brand new game, it feels like, almost. Now, don't get me wrong, it's not really a brand new game, but I'm really happy with this. One little thing that they changed, it's crazy, but it really like impacts the game quite a bit. Look at this dude getting dropped on the, on the floor. One little change that they make with a dribble move changes so much, and it's crazy, bro. It's really crazy. So anyway, to, to kind of brief and just like, you know, make a long story short, um, I think ISO is going to become new meta. I really do think that's going to be a thing. But like I said, if y'all really are with this IQ stuff on the pick and roll, on the 2v2 at least, it can very much so be a thing. Now, let's not forget about the toxic like, you know, post like post score or peer stretch and then like a lockdown defender. That is going to be tough to deal with, honestly. That's going to be real frustrating. But anyway, you see this dude's playing too high. I get the lob off that. And then Kitch hits a nice little fake pass three off this one as well. Beautiful game. Two locks. 21-0 or 22-0, honestly. Look at this. I mean, they're so pressed with me in the paint that they just leave my dude wide open for three. <laughs> so, anyway. 22-0 in that one. Like I said, two locks. Um, as far as our defense, it was more highlighted in the first game. I just wanted to show y'all this one as kind of like a bonus, a bonus game. But anyway, look at this. I mean, 16, 3, 8 of 9. I had the one bad contact dunk take that I had. And then Kitch, he, he missed two shots in the beginning, but I got the O boards on both of them. So actually, matter of fact, I got three O boards <laughs> in, on all three of the misses we had. So anyway, hope you all enjoyed. Like I said, if you did, feel free to drop a like, sub if you're new, turn on the noties, all that good stuff. Um, if you made it to the very end of the video, put put YouTube in the comments if you made it to the very end of the vid just to show your support that you made all the way through want to show your loyalty to me but anyway other than that if we get this to like 500 likes I'd appreciate that as well but hey like I said just keep your head up don't don't overreact no matter what your build is listen the <laughs> life is like tides you can't get too low you can't get too high all right it's just shout out to J Cole on that one but um listen you cannot get too high and too low with your confidence in your build you will be able to find a way if you do it properly, all right? There, There is always a positive and a negative to your build, okay? So just keep that in mind. Stick with me on this. I'm here to help anybody. You guys know this is this is big time for me also. Uh, there's going to be a lot of stuff I can talk about with this update and just kind of, you know, the IQ stuff that I can obvi obviously just spew out my brain. I just love that this thing happened, all right? So anyway, hope you all enjoyed. And other than that, take it easy, man. Peace.